They've got a lot of different kinds of llamas, I'll give them that. They must obviously have llamas down for the height of exoticism. And lots of different kinds of goats as well. You can't really go wrong with goats. There's got some more of them over there. But these are sort of more wild ones. Have you got them nicely? Very nice. They look like ibexes, don't they? Yeah, well, it's certainly the biggest. Come on then. Come on then. They call it Arui in Polish. And this one they've called Gural. Długo Nogowy. So it's an... I don't know, it's called the long, the long tailed Goral. Nemeridus cordatus and luxurious. Apparently comes from India. Kashmir, Himalayas sort of area. There are a couple of them in the middle there. Here's another form of Guantanamera. And I think they've got miniature ones on here. Vicunia. There you are. What are you doing? Don't don't tease him. Don't tease him. He'll spit you. He'll spit right in your eye, and you'll deserve it. I won't tell him off for it. Look what you're doing. He's already, he's already burnt out on you there, Sophie, because you kind of like me messed him about a bit too much with that drink. Sophie, stop it, will you? Yeah, these are the babies. Yes, he, he must have forgotten that his father isn't here. <laughs> He called me Daddy. Daddy, what's that over there? And then looked up and was eaten up with embarrassment and ran off. <laughs> I just smiled at him. <laughs> He's my brother. Hey, oh, you never knew you had a brother that could talk, did you? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, she started talking, thank goodness. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one, yeah, yes, that's right, yeah. Half sister. Yeah, he's up there. Yep. Do you want to see the unicorn? Yeah. Well, that's tough because they're extinct. Or mythical in the first place. But you can see a rhinoceros. <laughs> If that's any good to you. Oh, well, you want to see the elephants, do you? Well, it's, you'll be lucky because I'm not sure George is going to let us that happen. Anyway, the the rhino. Let's hope that George doesn't get a thingy in here as well. Of course, but he's going to love it. It'll smell just like his nappy.
Anyway, they're not here. That means that they're probably outside. Okay, if he's going to get all upset when he goes inside, then we better take him out again. That's a hyrax, rock hyrax, come on. They're not lynxes. No, he's not happy. That's a restaurant anyway. Had enough of you taking me to restaurants. Come on. <coughs> we'll have to work, walk around and see him on the outside. Looks like he's outside here, look. There's a bunch of folk looking, which probably means there's something to look at. This person's got leopard trousers on, obviously trying to frighten the elephant th into thinking that she's a leopard. But this is not. He showed up for us boxes. Oh no, he's trying to stop. There you go, that's an African elephant, which is what you expect in a zoo. The Indian ones are all tame, so better to see an African one. Looks like he's reaching over. Asking people to throw him some sweet thing, but they shouldn't. Got Georgie, Sophie? She's already gone over there. I don't know. There's more interaction with people from that than there is from an awful lot of other the animals here. Oh, this one's out. Oh, well, that's all right then. So, I'm going to ask Sophie an important question. Sophie? If, an, if a rhino fights an elephant, who wins? An elephant. That's right. If a lion fights a tiger, who wins? Tiger. Yes, that's right. If the Russians fight the Americans, who wins? Americans. China. <laughs> and Arabia. No, I just said who wins. <laughs> you got it in the end then? Okay. Alright then. There's a pheasant in there. Himalayan pheasant. You're not supposed to go behind there anyway. That's what this thing's here for. That Suggesting you shouldn't go round it and harass them down there, yeah? He thinks he's going to get fed, that's why. You're just going to disappoint him and make him not happy with the world he lives in. Come on. Good boy. Yeah, collared dove. Oh, and there's another one. You've been collared, matey. And there's